Because how the devil are you? Ah, oh, it's a, uh, it's cold, but I like it. I'd prefer to detect in, in the cold than in the heat any day. I looked at the forecast yesterday and it said it's going to be minus eight in the morning. Shush you fool! Shush you fool fool! Uh, it said it was going to be minus eight in the morning. No need for all that beeping really, is there? I'm back on the orchard. The place, I love being here. My, my, my soul and my person loves being here, but it's not a great place to metal detect. You've seen the last few videos, there's a lot of foil, because I'm so close to a road, and there's a lot of old iron, and there's a lot of uh, lead, but I've got to give it a chance. I've got to give it, I'm gonna give it at least one more chance anyway. We know that there's medieval history here. We know that there was a medieval market close to this area. So something, something must come up. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Hey, yeah, I thought that was going to be uh, a coin at first, and then I thought, oh, oh, no, it's not a coin. It could be a button. It could be a nice button, but it's not that either. I've had one of these before, and I think that they might be some sort of weight, uh, some sort of trade weight or something. Not entirely sure, but yeah, as I said, I've had a few of these before. It's not lead. Uh, so, anybody? Oh, that's interesting. It's like a little lead, uh, little lead spaceship. Mm strange little thing no markings on it at all whatsoever but it's probably got some age to it I wonder if it could be a weight of some sort a loom yeah interesting ah, that one pinged but it's a it's a device uh, bolts or something uh, oh man it's hard when you get in there you get stuck in the tree's roots there. Something for... That's, uh, uh, hey look, hey look! It's a rusty bit of iron. In the tree roots. <laughs> Lucky it wasn't about a foot down. Uh, ah, I thought that was a Roman for a second there. No, it's just a button. Don't get excited that you can see the dots in the middle there. Uh, I'm going to give it a quick clean up. I don't think there's anything on this side at all but there might be something on the back. Yeah, we do have some markings there. Nothing on the other side at all whatsoever, but there's definitely markings there. I reckon that's probably 17th or 18th century. What does that say? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, I can't make it out, but... Oh, that's still a find. There's, there's a blooming target. Quite a good one. Right under this really thick tree root here. Ah, I, uh, ye gods of metal detecting, I smite you all. Uh, Might be worth it though. Circular, something. Lead. Probably a lead button or it could be some sort of token. Let's be careful with this wee little thing. You are the weeest little thing I think I've ever found. No, you're not. Nowhere near. Uh oh, oh no, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Whatever it is, it's very delicate. It's got a bend in the middle there. Quick clean up. Well, I was just about to cry and lob my spade a mile, but I, it was because there's nothing on this side, because I presume that would be the front side, but this side looks a bit. Looks like there's markings there, doesn't it? Let's be optimistic. If it's not a coin of nothingness, it's a coin of near nothingness. Or even a token of near nothingness. Hmm, I'm gonna persevere. Yeah, it's definitely an old token of some sort, but it's uh, it's had it, it's such a shame. Ah, look at that, you can see the circular patterning around the, so the top there. And it's completely flat the other side and devoid of anything. Oh, apart from the little mark in there, look. Um, oh, it's such a shame. So yeah, it is uh, unfortunately a lead token of near nothingness. Um, that could have been so good. That could have been such a lovely thing. Look at the circles around there. Like the design on it, so close yet so far, my friends. Oh well, I'm, quite, I'm still glad that I got it out of that blooming hole though.
target here. You see that hole there? Whoop, whoop. That's a badger set. Uh, and in the spoil here, there's a really tight signal. So I'm gonna do a live dig on it. See badgers and other animals, what they do is they dig down and they dig things up and they kick things up and they kick items up which are, you know, really far down. And way below the depth of any metal detector. Oh, let's have a look, where was it? See, really tight signal right there. Let's live dig this. You're right, you're the right angle, I think so. Okay. I think it's probably going to be on the surface. It's not going to be on the surface because it's going to be there or thereabouts. And I was right. Okay, it's in this club here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's uh, an old lead, I don't think it's a button, I think it might be a whirl, an old lead spindle whirl, a very small one, no, it could be a button I guess, see that there, not too sure, it's got no defining markings but that just goes to show, I mean, if that was a small spindle whirl, hold on let me just focus in while I'm talking to you, if that was a, sp a small spindle whirl, Boop, there you go. Uh, that'll take us back to Roman easy. Uh, and that explains, that, that would make complete and perfect sense because it would have been that deep down in that badger set. Or it could just be a, a, uh, a button of some sort, a lead button maybe, perhaps medieval. Either way, interesting little find. Okay, getting down in this hole here, we have a button of absolute nothingness. A button of no! Oh, look at the pretty design on the bit of pottery. It's got purple flowers. Look at them purple flowers. Isn't they beautiful? That's well cool. Um, there's a target in there, but I'm... Oh! And in that hole was this little beauty. Whoa! Whoa! That is cool, isn't it? I think it's the, uh, perhaps the lid to something. It's probably just Georgian, but... They do tend to give things nice little... I don't know, it could be older actually, but that's cool. I thought it was a crotal bell at first, and you can see why. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I wonder what it was on though. I wonder what it was planted on there. Nice, very nice. And there's half a pewter button there. God, that did ping. That did ping down in that big hole. Oh, okay, we do find the other coin. I believe it's going to be a ship half penny. Oh, sorry. There you go. Are you going to zoom in now? Oh, yes, you are, sir. At least it's a coin. It looks like George on the front, doesn't it? But as I said, at least it's a coin. Okay, let me just give this a quick clean up. No! No, 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 no. That's not a George. I've got no idea what that is. Look, it's got a phoenix or a big mythological creature on the front. Whoa! And it has some dude on the back who looks like George. He really does. But I'm not entirely sure it is. It says M... M.P.? Oh, I don't know. The date on it, though, is 1855. Uh, give us a focus there. Sunshine! Uh, you're not going to, are you? Okay, hold on. There you go. I just flipped over to macro. Uh, 1855. Anybody got any ideas what coin this is then? Because I have never picked up one of these bad boys. It's got a lovely patina on it. It's very much like our ship half pennies, but it ain't a ship half penny. It's something else. I'm um, expecting something from Europe, um, some European coin. Hold on, does that say Napoleon? Oh, it says Napoleon on the side. There you go, look, Napoleon. So it's obviously 1855 French. Oh wow! Oh man, that is a cool little find that is. I'm really, really happy with that. Very good. Yes! Ah, 
Now, danger. <clears throat> you find a lot of these in these, this country, circular rings, and you think that they're going to be rings. Uh, and what you do is you think, oh, they're, they're, they're parts of their washers or parts of machinery. Uh, discard, discard. Unfortunately, these look exactly the same as Celtic ring money. Um, I'm going to do a video on this soon, explaining this. These look just blooming like Celtic ring money, so I'm not going to start, I'm going to stop throwing them away just in case uh, and have somebody who knows what they're talking about have a look at it instead. That could be really, believe it or not, that could be quite a significant find, but we don't know. You'll have to get the experts to look at it. I'll do a video on this soon. I think we're done with the orchard. And it hasn't quite lived up to expectations, but I'm thankful that I've put the, uh, the, the, the ghost of the medieval marketplace to bed. I've enjoyed my time here. Uh, the finds haven't been great. Uh, I've checked it thoroughly. I'm happy that it's checked. It's just been saturated with modern rubbish, which is an absolute shame. There's probably great targets beneath them, but every two or three steps you're going, you're finding tin cans, because we're so close to that road over there. Uh, and it's just, what happens is when plows and things go over them, uh, it just rips it up and it makes one tin can, turns one tin can into 20 individual parts. Uh, it's unfortunate, but as I said, I've given it a good shot and I'm happy that I've, you know, I've, I've given this area a good scan. And that's me done, guys, unfortunately. I've got no more permissions. I'm, I'm, I'm out of the game. Um, it's, it's winter, there's everything seeded. There's no permissions. Literally all of my fields are seeded. Nothing's turned over. This is the only bit of pasture I've got left. Uh, so I'm done. There might be a bit of a break in my videos, unfortunately, which uh, sucks. I don't want to do that. I like making them. I enjoy doing them, but it's like hibernation time, I think. We'll see what happens anyway. I'm gonna, next week, I'm going to drive around and look for some more permissions, but everywhere is seeded so even if I do get more permissions the likelihood is that the farmer will say like yeah you can come on but when uh, the harvest is off anyway here's to the next time I see you which will hopefully be sooner rather than later my friends I'll see you then